we're going to do an example of the formation and hydrolysis of the peptide bond. So example number four, okay, formation <clears throat> and hydrolysis. So when we say formation and hydrolysis, we're talking about the condensation and hydrolysis of a peptide bond. between, and the amino acids that I chose, between the amino acids, and again, you don't have to know this yet because we haven't gotten to it yet. This is just the reaction that's important. Next couple of lessons, you'll understand what's happening here. Um, I chose alanine and serine. Okay, so here we go. So let's see, let's go ahead and write it as um, okay, N, C, C, O, H. Uh, I'll go ahead and write this as N, 3, plus. Uh, this is an H here, and this is a CH3. That's our alanine. And then this is going to be plus. Let's do, I'll just do an N, H, and an H. And don't worry about why it is that I have three, N, three H's here versus two H's over on this side. Again, we'll deal with all of that later. Right now, it's about just the reaction. That's C, C, O, H. And here we have the H. And here we have uh, serine, which is going to be CH3, O, H. Okay, here we go. So when we put these together, you're going to end up with the following. You're going to end up with the peptide bond. Um, this is going to be N, C, C, N, C, C. This is how I write out my peptide bonds. N, C, C, N, C, C. Always keep it straight that way. And the carbonyl goes on the second one. This one goes here. Let me fill that in. Uh, let me go ahead and put the rest of it in here. This goes there. This is an H, this is an H, this is a CH3, this is a CH3OH. Now we can go ahead and plus H2O. Now in, oops, now I'll do this in blue. These are the elements of water right here. N comes in. That is that the peptide bond that we're forming is between the carbonyl carbon of one amino acid and the nitrogen on the other amino acid. That's the bond that's forming. That's called the peptide bond. And again, we'll go through all of this later. Next couple of lessons we're going to be talking, in fact, for the next several lessons, we're going to be talking about exclusively proteins. Um, profoundly important biological macromolecule, the most abundant macro biological macromolecule in nature. So that's it. This is hydrolysis and this is condensation. Hydrolysis is the breaking up of a molecule with water and condensation is when you put two molecules together and the elements of water are produced as a product. You'll see these all the time. Okay, thank you for joining us here at educator.com. We'll see you next time for a discussion of proteins. Bye-bye.